Good morning, everyone. Yeah, no, nah, like I said last week, you know, after last week, I'm just going to do things on my turn. I'm going to take my time. I'm not going to rush anyone's time limit anymore, bro, because, you know, it's all on my time. If you don't like it, bro, I'll catch you later. You know, what it is, the issue is, is that um, they're getting the work right, they're telling the builders that it'll be done, and then what, what's happening is that the guys that are doing that are putting more pressure on the guys that are building the scaffold, you know? an example of uh, rush pressure. Um, well, I only had an hour to finish one job, right? Uh, the bricky, uh, the builder shouldn't have had his trains on site for a start, bro, so they could have a crane. I was charged three grand from the builder, bro, and I got built for it, bro, today. How are they? Now I'm stopping it at the gas station, right? Um, today, and I'm getting rushed around, bro, like, hey, you know, even when I do this, or, like, I'm, it's like I'm not getting a break, bro, you know? That's why I don't want it. Ah. Uh, Joe's job, mate, and then Mount Pleasant's job, mate, it's all done, mate. Fuck at me, they look at that, mate. Or old Huston Scaffy, mate. Ha ha ha! Ah, so this is my job for today. I'll get this one out of the way, and it'll take me probably. This is a decent size, but I only got to drop it down one lift. So, yeah. But you can't pick and choose, you know, when you want to come into work, bro, when the work's there, bro, you take it, bro. Yep. Like, that's a lot of reasons why I've had to get rid of, rid of a lot of guys, bro, because they put me under so much pressure at times, bro, it's just why I work on my own now. Ah, uh, yeah, here's the first steps, bro, I'm going to give you some strategy tips. All I'm saying, bro, is everybody wants to be a boss, bro, you know, like... Um, you know, I'm still fucking coming to the realisation, but to be a boss, bro, you gotta be a fucking headstrong cub, bro. Doesn't matter who you are, bro. And that's the worst last. Okay, mate, you love that stuff that I do, eh, mate? It cracks you fathers up, eh? Nah, but a lot of videos I do back home is, you know, it's purely just, you know, a humorous thing, you know, because that's how I was. That's how I grew up, bro. That's the, the town that I come from, you know, but it just kind of gives me a, you know. Just an example of wasting time on a job, bro, I'll tell you. You see where you got that corner there, bro? Right? But it would have taken him probably about 10, 15 minutes, bro, and you don't even need those fucking tubes there, bro, so I'm charging for that. Maybe the truck. We'll just make it sure the job is done, bro. Another issue, bro, is uh, this is a really bad safety issue, bro. When you don't go through. Um, so this is an example, bro, of... Um, yeah, I'd give this cut the sack, bro, for sort of thing, uh, So that's the strategy, right? I've taken down most of the rail, but I'll leave this up because I'm going to sit the front down first. Because the builder's just come and he's just told me he just wants the front section railed only. So here's the strategy, bro. The gates are in the hoist as well. And I'm ready to strip the front down, bro. You guys are pretty fussed about where they start. They always like to start from a section where there's steels, where they can flip their steels and drop them as they go. So it'll be probably better to go this way first. Also, a word that I like to use is one of my terms. It's called uh, fucking don't take a shit on something that where it doesn't belong, bro. What I mean by that is they go fucking shitting on someone that's trying their best or doing their best to get shit done, bro. Point I like to bring up, bro. A very important thing is communication, you know, between workers and whoever you're doing the job for, you know, builders. You know, like um, having gear on site, bro, you know. Like if I do have the hop up uh, to, to fill that hole, I will. But if I don't, bro, I'm not going to go out of my way to ring. I'm not doing that shit anymore, bro, ringing up for gear, bro. If it's not here, the other issue that I like to bring up as well, bro, is that, you know, not only have I gone through you know, all the hardships on the business side of it, but also I've gone through a lot of ups and downs, bro, in my personal life as well, bro. But, you know, like I said, that's where you separate that, you leave that aside, you know, but I'm taking my time. But it gives me a, a bit of time to, you know, be able to actually show you, bro, you know, um, you know, even the boys back home on what this shit is about, you know. Um, and yeah, bro, like, me by personal shit bro because you can I've done it a lot of times bro where I've carried it to work with me bro it's not good bro I haven't gone off at the boys it just makes you you lose motivation bro it kills your motivation bro to want to work bro all together the idea of what I mean, the idea of what I mean now, I 
Ooh, Either you can drop uh, on here. You will say that goes down to the, to the floor. Music is the right weather. There. It's our living here. Fantastic for what? Loving it. Loving this sunshine. Not at my normal use of South this today, but basically just running you through a lot of things. See how these two 1200 still with the gear break? You've got one with the gear. You got two uh, uh, two three borders there with two twelve hundreds. You swap those for two borders, bro, and put those twelve hundred stills back there, bro. Well, a lot of people got to understand too. I, I was a five street worker at the age of fourteen, but I did that. One of the toughest jobs I've ever done, bro. I did that for twelve years straight, bro. This is a fucking privilege to me, bro. This is like a privilege, even though I've worked hard for, bro. It's a privilege. Uh, here's an example, bro, of what a headache is, bro. Uh, you know, uh, faulty equipment, bro, you're trying to tighten it as fans out. You can kind of understand, bro, why a boss loses his shit every now and again, bro, you know? It's just, you know, to make it easier. I'm talking about, about mental pressure, bro, what, what we go through every day, now you get it, eh? But some fella trying to say it needs to be done tomorrow, bro, and I'm still at this job, bro, you know? I can't have my fucking head in, in this job and then think about the other job, bro. I'm not doing it anymore, I said that. Work, uh, you know, at my best. Uh, setting my own pressure, not at the quick of a finger. I'm nobody's fucking slave, nobody's dog. I'm not gonna go suck the builder's dick, bro, for no one, bro. I don't care, bro. He gets his fucking weight. If you don't like it, too bad. So dad boys, look at that, bro. See, I told you. Yeah, this is a decent sized job, bro. You know, but you know, you just gotta push, push, bro. Like I keep saying, cousin, you can do it, bro. So I'll go and hey, now. Yeah, so most rewarding part of the day is actually going hey, mate. You know. Um, but I will tell you this, the reason why I took the work back with Metro is they agreed to my um, terms and, and conditions because I did tell them I'm not going to be fucking rushed around anymore, bro, but I know what, you know, that's the only reason why I agreed, bro, because they agreed with my terms, you know what I mean, and they're only going to give me, uh, you know, what I can take, bro, you know, because that's what these little companies got to understand too, bro, is that when they don't have work, bro, they got the work for me, bro, so i got to do that, do it like that, you know.